alive, y'all. All right. Get my remote. Get it. Oh, wrong way. Get it working right. I think that's pretty good. Um, go up just a little bit so I can show you what all we're going to use tonight. Um, come on in, say hey, hey. Um, tonight we're going to be doing a tobacco basket. Um, I think it'll turn out pretty cool. So we'll see. The whole idea on this has just changed, so we'll, we'll see how that works. Um, because I got my box from Dawn today. <laughs> hey, Caddy, what's going on, girl? Hi. Hey. Um, hey, Dawn. Hey, Deb. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff out here I'm going to use. Um, tonight for this, this is our tobacco basket. Um, I did get this one at the Hobby Lobby, so you can find this at the Hobby Lobby. Hey, Trace, how are you, girl? Um, but I got it, it's like $17, so you wait till they're, I think those are 50%, I think those gave 50% off, so it's only like eight bucks. Um, I was going to whitewash it a little bit with some white paint, and I decided not to, because I don't know what I'm doing with this tonight, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Carolyn, how's that knee? Hope it's doing better. I know it takes a hot second. Um, but we're going to start out using, um, we're definitely going to use some pockets, okay? Because what we're going to try to do is make a design where we're going to have it coming out. Oh, crap. I can't even hold it and do this at the same time. Kind of have it coming, working its way out. It's not going to be that big, I hope. Um, but kind of working its way out at an angle from, oh, good, good, uh, from what, from top, the top corner down to the left corner, okay? So we got that involved. We got some of this. Um, we're not going to leave it this big. Holy, we're not leaving it that big, y'all. Um, sorry, I'm bad. I had to go run to potty before I came on. It always happens. I get nervous. Um, this is a cherry blossom. So we'll probably cut a few pieces off of this and stick it in there, I think. Add some white to that. I did get this pick out um, to add some color and whatnot. This is really, hey, Tina. This is a really pretty one. It just looks kind of like wildflowers, and um, it's, it's it's a really cool bush. It's just got a lot of colors, pinks, purples, it's got fern, eucalyptus. It's got all this abundance in here, so we might add some of that. Hey, Arlene, how are you? I'm kind of messy. So we might be using some of this uh, once we see where this design is going to go. So I've already changed my mind on it twice. Maybe three times. I don't know. I'm going to set this one over here. I'm going to try not to use... I'm going to try not to use both of those. Because um, I'd like to save one. And we're probably going to use some of this delphinium right here. To add some height. Hi, Lizzie. Add a little something something in there. You know how I like to add a little something something, right? And here was my first thought. My first thought, I was going to do... Like a bee thing. And I still might incorporate some of this in here to make it fun. Okay? Because there's no rule that says a bee wreath or bee anything has to be just black and yellow. Okay? Because, you know, bees just don't go to, you know, they get, they, they like color. So, it don't matter. So, I'm going to maybe add some of those in there. And then this is one of my all-time favorite picks from The Sims. Um, had Dawn just pick me up this last week. She picked me up two. So, and this is a big bush, and it's just so pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and it's got a lot of these fun berries in it, and a lot, of, it's just got a lot of funness in there. See, it's got those berries. It's got little roses. It's got some ornocolis and some hibiscus, I guess is what those are called. So, this has got a lot of funness. We're not going to probably use this whole bush, but we might add some of that in there as well. Um, my first thought, I was going to use um, this purple in, it's kind of got purple daisies and purple and then the sunflowers and stuff, but I kind of changed my mind since I got that that bush from the sim. So, let's get going here. Um, anybody got any questions before I get going? See, by new here, um, I am going to talk about the retreat a little bit tonight. Um, again, we're still looking for vendors. 
Um, and people, you know, we still got some tickets available. Um, we'd love to have you come. We are going to have six product projects. So I'm just going to talk about a little bit tonight. I'm just keep it refreshed in everybody's head. Um, and in case anybody's new, new is on here um, as well. But it's going to be, it's craftingintheCarolinas.com is where you can get the information. Don will probably, um, what the heck are they then? Dang, on it. Let's go. Hold on, let me look at the tag. Well, that's what they kept calling them at the retreat, or at the little show, I thought. It says Delphinium on the tag. <laughs> They are. It's a Delphini right on the tag. That's what I thought. That's what Jim kept calling them. That's the only flower. I'm about the only flower beside a rose I know. <laughs> so anyway, um, check out Crafting in the Carolinas. Don. Oh, the pink. No, I wasn't talking about the pink. I was um, talking about the green one. I was talking about the green one. Uh, but it's Crafting in the Carolinas. Don's going to put some information in here. Um, just in case somebody's new and everything. And, um, and then we're going to start attaching this while I talk about that real quick. Um, I just cut down a, um, oh, no, I was telling, no, I was telling you about the, the Delphine. Sorry, I should have sent you a picture. Um, this is about five by four, approximately. Because what we're going to want to do is attach it kind of in the center at it, well, I'm looking at my camera, so I'm going the wrong way. Kind of at an angle. That's going to build our um, our this, our line going up and down. Okay. So first off, I'm going to glue it, and then we're going to kind of zip tie it in here. It should stick pretty well. Um, I'm going to put the glue on the actual wood first. Okay. Just enough to hold it. I think it'll hold fairly nicely. Okay. And then we're just going to stick that off to whoop, off in here. Um, just press it down and hold it. I'm just put it right kind of smack dab down in the center and everything. Oh, <laughs> even the conversation. I was talking. I was talking about both of these. I was talking about both of these. All right, I think I think that's pretty good. I think I am just gonna add a little dab down under this corner. I want it to stick really nicely. Okay, might add a little bit down in here and down in here. Okay, I do want it to stick fairly nicely, so we'll just hold that. But yeah, our retreat's gonna be in Raleigh, down to or Raleigh, North Carolina, um, on September 20th, what is it, 26th through the 28th, I think, um, we'll have a meet and greet on that Thursday, and then the retreat will be, um, Friday and Saturday, um, lunch and dinner are included, it's a box lunch, um, that we'll have, you know, we'll order, we'll have to order for everyone, kind of on a, you know, that kind of basis. Um, and also, I think, when's the, what's the payment? Have the payment's gone down to two now, Don, or is it still at three? Oh, you still got time to book your, your flight, Kathy. But Kathy's coming. I know Brenda from in here is coming. We've got several people from in here coming. Um, it's going to be a real fun time. We're going to have six projects. We're going to have um, possibly some angel wings. I think the angel wings we're going to have, and it's going to be a, a wall design, uh, floral. We're also going to have a um, a um, evergreen. We're going to have a swag, an evergreen swag. And we're going to have, let's see, angel wings, evergreen, evergreen swag. We're going to have a truck. What am I missing, Don? She probably texted me, tell me what I'm missing. 
Um, shoot, what am I missing? I'm trying to walk and talk at the same time here again, guys. Um, shoot, I know I'm missing something. Anyway, I'm just going around here with a zip tie. Okay. And I think this is going to help hold this on here. Okay. So anyway, we got the Angel Wings the Evergreen, the Evergreen Swag, the Grapevine, the Truck. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's going to surprise me, too. No, I know. I just keep losing count of what they're doing. But anyway, they're going to be a, some very cool projects. Um, let me go show you. Well, I'll show you after a bit if I remember. Um, let me show you the, ever, the angel wings that we're going to be doing. I'm not going to show you what it's going to be designed like. But yeah, I, um, I'd show it to you, but I already got it. I kind of played around with it. So I don't want to show you kind of what my idea is. I don't want to spoil it. Okay, so we've got that. So see how that we just went around this backside right here. And we just glued and zip tied this on right here. I'm laughing at it. Yeah, we're gonna get um, you're gonna get six make and takes. I probably just didn't name them all right, but they're gonna be really cool projects. Some simpler than others, which is okay. Um, so we'll have something for everybody. So please check us out. We plan on having lots of fun. And the kicker is. We get to dress like a pirate. Because we'll have a theme night on our meet and greet. Where you need to be a pirate. You don't have to. But it's a lot of fun. I'm just saying. So what I'm going to do. What we're gonna, what you want to do here guys. Is we're going to want to take this. And break it up in three pieces. And you're going to have a long one. And you're basically going to have. I like to call them a left and a right to where these this bottom one's going to go off to one side and the other one's going to go off to the other. So I keep those together. That way, depending on which side I put it on, those are going to, they're going to fill it out better that way. Okay, so we're just cutting three of ficus down. Okay. Got those. And then we're going to start with the ficus. Okay, we might, I know I've got a lot out here, guys, but I probably will not use all of this stuff. I may, you know, not, you know I me, mean? I change my mind as I go along. So I'm just going to bend this a little bit so it kind of pops up, down. Um, should have steamed that. I'm going to have to go back and steam this after we get off here. Um, but what I'm going to want to do, it, let me zoom down here. Sorry, y'all. There we go. But what I'm going to want to do, is that a better view? Um, is I'm going to want to come in through here. Okay? Because we're going to want to come up. So I'm going to dip. I'm going to dip that. Okay? We're just going to go right down into our... I think that's... Try not to get it in my glue pot. That's about that's not like the way I bent that. So see, we're gonna start here, then we're gonna go down. Okay, so now we're gonna take our other one. And we the other long one we may just cut down and add around the sides. Okay. So I'm just going towards the top, just angling that down. Okay, now we've got sorry got to zoom down in there. You see how we've got that coming out each side? Okay. I'm going to save that one. And now we're going to go in with some of our, so where I've got, where I've got one coming off this side over here, I'm going to want to take one of the ones that has it coming off the opposite side over here. See how that's going to fill that out the opposite side. Oh, yes, it's a free shuttle. Thank you, John. Um, there's a free shuttle to the hotel and back. And within, I think, a certain mileage. I can't remember what that is. 
um, that they will, you know, take you around and whatnot. So that's awesome. And that's good. They have a restaurant and a bar and a really nice area to gather outside and whatnot. Um, we have a fabulous room down there. Um, oops, I want this one. Nope. What am I doing here? Well, at some point we're going to get a little bit wonky here. That's okay. That's why I'm just going to come down in here. But it's a beautiful hotel. It really is a beautiful hotel. Okay, so let's go back up here to the top. And the room that we're in, the, in the, um, the retreat room. Yeah, indoor pool. The retreat room is beautiful. It's going to be nice and set up like a U so we can walk around and help everyone. Um, so that'll be fantastic. It's just going to be, it's going to be a good time, y'all. And you get a lot of projects, like I said. And you're close to Sims, so that's a, that's a plus. It's only, it's not too far away. If you want to plan a trip to Sims, get a carpool together and whatnot, come in early. That's another, that's another plus. Okay, so here's how we've got this going. I think I'm going to take, I think I'm going to save this piece for now. And these other two, I think I'm going to, <coughs> excuse me, I don't really want to add it on the sides because I want the basket to show. So I think what I'm going to do is add it in the back just to give it a little bit more extra filler. Or should I add it in the front top? I think we're going to add it underneath in here. This will just give it a little extra filler in the back. Okay, so see how I kind of added that and just filled that in nicely. Um, let's set that one over there. And then I'll just take this one and I'm going to do the same thing. Um, whoops. Right down in yonder. Down in there. Okay. So now we've got that all nice and filled in nicely. So now we've got our base. Okay, if you go miss and check the pool, why do you think I'm on jail, you? <laughs> All right, so now what I want to do, I know we're probably going to need something off the side, but we're going to put a bow in here. So if I have to add moss later, I will. I like to add it after the fact, just because. Just because. That's what I'm saying. Just because. At the retreat. You're knucklehead. <laughs> Alright. This item is item number. I didn't give you an item on the number on the bike because I don't have that. Um, this is a Sims project or product. You get nine stems on this bush. It, it, bush. It's CS21623. And they had it in several different colors, and I just love this one. It gives everything a lot of height, and you can use it for so many, many things. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to try to do three in the top and three in the bottom. I think I've got a bunch of these. Um, so I'm going to cut these off. I've got one here that's missing the top. The top went MIA. So I'm not going to use that one. I'm probably going to leave the leaves on these. We'll see. The leaves on these aren't, see that one's got the top, just kind of missing a little beady looking, looking thing. Let's throw that over there. So let's get these over here and get these in. Okay. This is going to add another little, help our line. Hey Shantae, how are you girl? It's going to help with that. Why is that? Must have pulled one off of one of these. But yeah, we hope you come. Uh, check it out. Like I said, Crafting in the Carolinas. Um, Donald posts the link off and on just in case you guys are still on the fence. Um, we understand that. That's okay. Um, but tickets are kind of going. 
So we love the Habeas for sure. cut them long so I can cut them down. Okay, guys? I can't add that stuff back. So, I cut them long. Then I, I'm good to go. Okay? Hang on that one. It's a little wonky there. So, I need to get a little bit further in on that one. Maybe. Come on. There we go. So see how that's helping our line grow here? Okay. Pull that one up. I'll leave that one on as well. I'll just cut a little bit off of that one. Yes, please come. We have so much fun, guys. And we've got so much. We're going to have games and prizes. Um, we're, we're still trying to get some vendors um, and whatnot. So we should have some vendors. Um, and we just have a lot of fun. Mr. Bob's going to build us a plank for photo ops and whatnot. And we're just going to have tons of fun. Like I said, you don't have to dress up. That is not a requirement. That's just personal. That's just personal fun, guys. If you want to have some personal fun, I didn't put that in the right spot. I'm going to go in just a little bit more. That's just for personal fun. And it just makes everything funner, I think. And I mean, not sure if I... <laughs> they probably have a little too much fun with it. We're not going to say this. So. That's all right. But anyway, anybody got any questions so far? On this? So far, we've used... Um, three of the ficus, the variegated ficus, and we have used, um, whoops, I just pulled that right off there, dang it, I was trying to pull it back out a little bit, it's this one, this one's got to go in, oh man, I lost my stick, where my stick did? oh, there it is, Sorry about that. Alright, I already lost my train of thought. Up. My hands are super weak, guys. So I have to really, really push. I'm still not liking where that one's at. I might get that one because of that curly hue. I'm probably overthinking that right now. So I'm going to stop. Glue that one back on. Okay. All right, now we're going to go back over here. Okay. Again, what I'm doing is just matching side for si side, for side. Basically, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, this is just giving us a little bit of a line here. Yeah, we always have more fun than we're supposed to have to be allowed. We're like two little teenage girls going off on a college trip or spring break or something. I don't know. We're just silly that way. All right, so see, this is where we're at. See how we're building our line up and down. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. So, and here, let's get going here. Um, I'll leave that. I am planning on probably I didn't show you my ribbons. Probably just doing the basic ribbon. Um, I had this bee one out, but I'm not. I'm still on the fence about that the bees. So we'll just hold off on that. So let's start going back in here with. Um, some of these florals because as soon as we get some of these on we're gonna have to add our bow in here so let's get going on some of these florals because <coughs> this is where it's really gonna start to pop okay. 
this is really where it's going to start to pop with a lot of color and whatnot. So I want to use the roses off this. I did stain these kind of pretty good before, just real quick before. We are going to use these berries. Okay, that comes in this pick. I don't know what else we'll use off this. I'm just going to cut. I want to use, um, what do I want to use? I am cutting these kind of long. Oh my God, I got three. I'm going to try to use three on the top and three on the bottom. So we're just going to start with the roses. I am going to cut these berries off because those are going to add a whole other element in here. Like I said, I'm cutting these long. And the number on this one, sorry guys, I didn't give you that. Uh, the number, where'd my other berry go? Here it is. The number on that, I let go. Uh, the number on this pick, I love this guys. This is one of my favorite picks of all time. Um, is CS12950. This is a Sims again. This is a Sims. I just love this one. How many do I got? Need one more. So it comes with comes with six six roses on it, and plus all the other stuff. See, you're still I forgot that berry. You're still left with all this stuff on here, um, as well. You could save for another project. You could add it to this. But you're still left with all of all of this funness. Okay. So that's a good thing. So we've got all our berries over in here. I think we'll save those for last. But I want to get these flowers in here because this is where it's really going to start to pop. Okay. So let's see how long we're going to need this before we, we cut it off. I think we're going to have one kind of down in here, okay, because we're going to have some tails and whatnot. So let's start out just a little bit off. I'm going to start here in the center, okay. And we're just going to kind of go in there, okay, see how that is. And then we're going to come out to the sides, and I think I'm going to come a little bit longer. Actually, you know what, guys? I just changed my mind. I want this one to be the long one. I want this one to be the long one. Okay, so I'm going to come in this side. Okay. Just like such, we are going to add some other filler in here. So see how that's kind of coming that way. Okay. And then we're going to come right in here. Push that one out a little bit. Put that one in a little bit. Okay. So see how that's really starting to pop now with that color. And we'll probably turn that up. And I think I'm going to push these leaves down this is kind of going to help out there it's going to kind of help uh hide our base or our foam okay so i'm pushing those down what the heck was that? pushing those down towards the bottom towards the foam okay Cut that off a little bit more. A little bit more. And I want to get that one in about the same as that other one. So see how that's filling in really nicely and looking really good here on the bottom. I'm just going to bend that one up a little bit. Okay. I don't know. We might have to cut that one down and put it. Hmm. 
Let's see, by the time I get my bow in there, you know what, guys? I'm going to cut these down a little bit more. Okay? I'm thinking that's going to be too long. I don't want them to be, I don't want it to be too long. Okay? So we're going to cut those down. Okay? Because it's kind of getting, yeah, you know, I don't want it to hide my delphine for one. And I don't want them kind of flopping too much. That makes sense. Okay. So now that's get that in there. There we go. Now we'll cut this one down just a hair. So I can get it out. Sorry about that. I just kind of once I looked in the camera. I didn't like it, so I didn't like. It. Oh, thanks, Carolyn. That's awesome. And thanks for putting that information in there, Don. So I can. I don't want everybody in the design. You know, I don't want anybody here thinking that's all I'm talking about tonight. But I appreciate it. We just really like for you guys to come. Now that would be super sweet, Carolyn. We do appreciate that. Yeah, we are taking the donations for uh, swag bags and stuff as well. And we will promote you. Put your cards and stuff in there. Help us promote you and whatnot. All right, there you go. See, that's better. That's better. Now I know what to do on top. Let's hurry up and get that done. Oh, there's seven of these on there, guys. I'm just counting. There's seven of those roses on that bush. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, get these in here. I'll have to go back to steam these when I I steamed them a little bit, but I didn't have time to steam them super well. Oh, touching this glue. Every time I go to stick one of these in here, I touch, I put my finger right in the glue. My ding dong. My ding dong. There we go. All right, last one. Then we can get to that fun filler. Put a bow in here. Um, and most, we'll probably do the bow right, right next. Cause that's going to kind of tell me how much filler I'm going to need. Um, uh, thanks, Caitlin. Maybe the same for you. All you ever have to do is ask. Okay. All right, guys. So see, we've got me zoom up just a hair bit. See how we've got this all coming. I think we're going to make this one our top since this one's a little bit more kind of like in that bottom the way it's a little bit fuller here. So I think we'll make this our top going this way. Um, so there's that. Let me zoom back down just a little bit. I'm zooming up. Oh, I got it upside. No, I don't. Tell you what, this thing's wonky. Everything goes up, down. It's opposite of what it's supposed to do. So let's make a bow. Let's get that out of the way real quick. And well, first, like I said, oh, there, I got to find where that one goes. I said I wanted to add, you know, I wanted to see if I wanted to add these bees and stuff. What do you guys think? What's your thoughts on, on the bees? mixed in here. Whoops. That keeps getting caught on everything. Bag on so does that. The bees mixed in here with this. I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to hold it the right way. Um I don't know if these will be long enough is my 
my worry. Um, I think I'm gonna try it, guys. I'm gonna try it. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna use the B ribbon. Okay. We are gonna use the B ribbon. This one's RGC eight zero six six three zero. That's that one. Okay, and it's just a simple neutral B ribbon. You know what I'm saying? Just a simple neat. Just checking to see what my my curl factor, my, my luck factor is going to be there in that one. Um, so I think what I want to do. We're going to make several loops. I'm not sure about how long of a tail I want. Um, so we're going to make it long and we can always cut it off. Okay. But I do think I'm going to make about a seven inch um, loop. Okay. that in there. I think that'll be that'll be long enough. Actually you know what? Since this is a pattern, I am gonna come over the top with that one. Okay. I'm going to take that and I'm going to come right over this top instead. I'll pinch that together. Make sure those are about the same size. Put that in here. That way I can make sure those are the same size. So now our bees are going the correct, correct way. Around there, I don't like the way that's flipping up there. Okay, then we'll just cut this off. Actually, you know what? I'm going around. I'm gonna make a couple more loops with this one. I think I want a couple more loops. Let's make this fuller. Let's make this fuller. Okay. To be quite honest with you. I'll have to twist one of those because it is the patterning ribbon. So I got two coming out here. Let's stop at two on each side. I was gonna go one more. I was gonna go one more around, but I'm not sure here. I'm not sure I want to do that. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I could always redo this sucker. Okay. Throw that in there. And then we're gonna go back in with our cabana stripe. I'm down to one more roll. And then I'm going to get set when I'm out. Put that down there. Okay. So I'm just going to come in with this one. See how I, I like this because it's just going to keep this part neutral. And just give it that kind of a farmhousey look, but, but not, you know. It's just going to keep it neutral, a super neutral for the bow which I like, or that's where my thought process was going. And this one, I'm going to go a few more loops than we did last time. Okay, and I'm just going a little bit smaller. Okay. I'm going to do about six on this one, I think. On the size. Let's see if I 
that maybe if I could put it in here, but I think I just want to keep it this way. Okay, so these are all about the same size. Now I'm going to go back in. You know what? Let's go back in. Let's go back in with this B again. I've got an idea. Okay. Am I locking this up? Hey, Michelle, how are you, girl? Okay, let's go back in with this B one more time. Okay, we're going to go a little bit shorter. Make sure that's a little bit shorter. Okay. I will probably have to go back and twist some of these guys because they are going the same direction, but I'm not going to worry about right now. Because we want a little bit more height on this since, you know, our florals are popping up a little bit here. Okay. So we want just a little bit more height for our bow to stand up out the center there. You don't want it to sink way down, is I guess what I'm saying. Okay, so now I think we're done with that one. And we'll go back in with this one. A little bit shorter on that. We can fix our tails. I'll have to adjust my tails when I get, get this on the wreath. Uh, I think this time we're only going to go in with one on each side. Okay, I think this is going to be plenty. Plenty. Okay. Perfect. I like that. See how the neutral just is going to make this tie all together and just it's and then we could put that since we have that extra rose, we could put something in the center of that. So that'll be cool. Okay. But it'll keep this um I like keeping the bow monochromatic on this one because the basket is black and also the flowers are going to make everything else pop. Okay, and I think it'll tie together really nicely. If I can get it out of here. Yeah, if I can get it out of here. Okay, I'm going to pull that back around the back here. Put that in the center. Down. This one in here is this one we use to tie it to our zip tie on on the phone. Okay, that's how you want to attach your bow um, to that phone. Make sure my things didn't get all out of whack. Pull that tight. And now we can just kind of fluff that out a little bit before we put that on there. Okay. And then this will tell us how much more filler and everything that we're going to need. To hey, Deb, how are you? Welcome. Hey, Zs. What's going on, girl? Love the pillow. It's really pretty on your porch. It looks festive. Guys, so see how neutral and kind of monochromatic this is, and how it'll pop. I made a bow this big and wow, guys. These are making them smaller. Make sure that's tight. Okay, as tight as I can get it. Tight as I can get it. Yeah, it didn't pop. So I put a t-shirt on or something. Had some nice weather here this week, so we've been lucky. Okay. So like I said, that's going to be our bottom. It's going to be our, let's see. I want that to be, whoops, sorry. Our bottom. Uh, 
I can always cut it off and switch it out. All right, so what I'm going to do here is, see how I said you're just going to want to take your zip tie and wrap it around this um, zip tie on that phone? And in doing so, you're going to jack your bow up. But just pull your zip tie longer. Okay. And just get it in here. Make sure the loops are there. And then we're just going to just attach this. Real tight. To our phone. Let's see what I was talking about, how we needed that height to fill in that hole. Hey, Terry. In there. Okay. That's what I was talking about. Okay, because we're kind of building it up and kind of like it's coming out of this basket. So we needed something to fill fill that hole, so to speak. Okay, and now we can bring these down here. And I'm going to leave them long for now. I am going to just trim the, the tails a little bit here. Get these turned around where I want them. Okay, these will probably just Maybe curl. I don't know, but I end up trimming them down just a hair. Okay. Just angle them. Add on that way. Trim that one down a little bit more, too. And there, there. Trim this one down a little bit. Okay. Oops, I'm going a little bit more on that one. Left that one real long. I don't know why. All right, there we go. So here's kind of our bow. I am going to probably trim those down a little bit more. Okay. Um, I don't think they necessarily have have to be that long. Um, or we might flip them around in here. We might pull some up in here. Ooh, I like that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's do that. Okay, we can pull some of those kind of up over into the side here, and then trim them down a little bit more. Kind of my curl. We'll leave those for now. I figure out actually what we're gonna do here. That one I am gonna cut down. Which way to go that way. Okay. So I kind of like this. Okay. Kind of like that. And then we can we can always pull them back down around town if we want to. Um, you know me. I can't decide on nothing. Jack it up 50 more times before I get, get to where I'm going here. <laughs> what I do? I lost one of my loops here. Where'd it go? Oh, shoot. Way down there. No wonder. I was getting so confused. Okay, let's stop with that bow. And get going here on the rest of the florals, okay? Like I said, we want to add some of these berries and everything in here, okay? So I'm going to add some of these kind of sporadically throughout here because we still, I think, want to add some of the bee stuff. But I've only got, this only came with four. So I think what we're going to have to do is go in between the two. Um, let me cut that off before I did that. We're going to have to go in between the two delphinium. Okay. So we're going to have to do that. We'll pull that up a little bit and we'll just pull these leaves up and kind of go right down between those two delphinium just like that. Okay. So let's cut these down just a little bit. Pull that 
up. Get one on the other side here. Hardest part is getting your leaves out of the way. You don't glue them in. Get glue all over them, I should say. All right, so we got those. Those two down in there. Okay. So we got two more we can add to the top. All right. I got questions or anything? How's everybody liking this? Anybody gonna try a tobacco basket? They're really fun to make. They're really, really fun to make. I love making them. When I can find a basket, you know. last one of these and then I think we'll start working on the bees going in here. I think we'll start working on the bees going in here. All right so see what we've got so far. We've used that off the floral bush. We used three ficus and we used six of the delphinium. Okay. That's where we are on that. Now let's get going on. I just want to tap it out on the floor. Let's get going on and see if we want some of this, some of these bees and stuff. I don't know if I'll, I'll I probably won't use these beehives. I think that's going to be a little obnoxious. Um, so I really wanted to add some of this white here. Hmm. I'm so on the fence about this pick. I really am. Totally on the fence. My problem is, I don't know if it's going to be long enough. And if I tear this all apart, let's just do it. Let's just take, trying to figure out where, where to tear, where I get the best bang for my buck here on this one. Huh. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell. Because these two are kind of intertwined into one pick. Hmm. So, guess what? We're going to do this. We're just going to tear it apart little by little and put a few things in there with the bee. We're going to make our own little pick here, okay? Just our own little pick. See, I'm taking this and that bee. Turn around the way I want you. And then I'm going to take a little bit of these pick berries that are on here. Hold on, how many I got? That one. Okay, so I got this and that. And I'm gonna take all three of those little doohickeys because I got what I do on the bottom. I'm gonna have to do on the top. So I got two picks of this. So I gotta make sure I kind of am able to match what I do on the bottom here. So let me just pick this together. Where that's <laughs> me. Uh, so I just made I, I, what I did was just kind of make my own little pick here. Okay. Um, I just kind of took it apart so I could put the pieces in it that I wanted to. Hey, Chrissy, how are you? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. So I've got one of these. I got two smaller ones and one little bit larger one. So I'm going to take this smaller one. 
and I'm going to go up in here, like towards the top, and go in there. Okay. That way our B will just kind of fly around in between our florals. So see how he's just kind of flying around in there? All right, so let's cut the rest of this down. We're going to take our big B. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to use this. Get that out of there. I don't think I'm going to use that big beehive. I don't think it's going to work with what I want to do um, with this design tonight. Okay, I'm hoping this is. I'm definitely going to have to pick this. Just going to twist those together. I don't have a lot of that I can cut down. That was what I was worried about. Um, I'm hoping I can get enough around here to hold this. And I did. So again, we just took some of the same pieces. And this is the bigger bee. So we're going to take him and stick him in the bottom center. Like down in kind of mixed in down in here okay I think I'm gonna put him actually you know what let's see let's, let's go a little look see up here let's see if we could have put him in a little bit shorter I want him here now I think I want him right underneath in the center actually you know what I think I do want it under the bow Sorry guys, this is how I roll. My designs change on a whim. <gasps> well, that one kind of petered out on me. Let my wires go. squeeze that a little bit tighter. I just cut that thing off and I think I loosened. Oh well, we'll glue it. We'll be good, we'll be good. So I think I'm gonna go up in the Right kind of underneath the bow with this one. That's going to give us some coverage right in here. And it's also going to let that little bee play around right there underneath our bow. See how cute that looks? That's why I changed my mind. And see how this just really has, it has no place. And it's just not going to be long enough. So we can save that for a whole another project. We definitely won't throw it away. Okay, so let's put this little guy over there. And I, I'm thinking after I put these bees in, guys, I'm thinking this bad boy's done. I thought about putting some of this white in here to kind of break it up. But quite honestly, I'm thinking about good. I'm thinking we're about good to go. I think it's got plenty. I'm going to pick this too. When it has this paper and stuff on here, sometimes I like to pick that guy. Just a little added um, something, something that, I don't know, it makes me feel better. So again, we're going to take this one and go down in here, pull that up, make sure we get some foam, and add that one right in there as well. So that will be guy can flourish and fly as well. So see how cute that is with those little bees. Thank you, Tina. Still got to figure out if I want to put a little something, something in that bow. All right, so now that I know what I want to do, I can cut this one apart a little bit quicker. Um, if you want the number on this, I forgot to give you that. This is a Carolina Pottery um, one, I'm pretty sure. Got this a couple of years ago. Yeah, six two six three two seven three before the bee pick. God, I'm getting an ear infection, you guys. I can't hardly touch my ear. I can feel it coming on. Whoops. I didn't have one of those since I was young. I used to get them all the time when I was little. I swam on swim team, so poor. I think I lived with live with ear infections. Alright, so 
that this one I don't know what the heck happened to that but whatever all right so get this get that in there and then I think we might be done I might just add a couple little I don't know I think that bow needs some greenery of some sort I'm trying to unwrap these little pick berries there we go so it looks fun. Get that funness going in there. All right. So this one again, we're going to take the smaller one. Go right down in there. Make him fly. Fly free. Fly free, little bee. And then I'm going to try to get this. I'm trying to get this. Ah, there we go. We got him out of there. So now we can break this off in a couple pieces a little bit easier. Trying to separate it so that it's fair. And we can take this one with that one. And that one with this one. And we're going to split. There we go. We're going to split. I'm going to pull that paper off. So I hate doing that because I hate that paper. Hit the paper. All right, again, just pull that out a little bit, get it all nice and spread out the way you want it. Wrap things around if you need to. And we're going to cut a little bit of that off and pick that one. And again, if you just joined and you weren't here at the beginning, make sure to check out Crafting in the Carolinas, our retreat coming up in the fall. Um, we would love to have you. Uh, you can go back through the replay. The information is there. But if you want more information, you can check out Crafting in the Carolinas. Actually, that one goes with that other one. Take that one off there. Okay. I'm jacking my bow up, pushing this stuff in here. Okay, that's good. Yeah, my bow's getting all wiggered up. I'm trying to get all this in here. All right, last one, guys. And then I think I'm going to step back and do a look see overnight. Oops. See if I want to add any more. I don't think I will. Um, you know, I don't think I will. If I add anything to this, it'll probably be little pots of white, but I don't think it's going to need it. Um, because I'm liking the color and I'm liking the mix, mix of the colors. And I am, I'm going to, you know, think about these tails, play with this bow and see if I want them to drape down. Or, you know, kind of um, spider out. I'll just play around with it and see what I like better before I cut them. I don't want to cut them now because I can't add the tails back. So, that would be silly. And that's what I always try to teach you guys is to take a, take a step back. If you're not sure, take a step back. Do a look-see. And... Come back to it you know, next morning and say, do I still like it? Was there anything I thought I might want to change? Um, what not? Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Because a lot of times, nine times out of ten, you'll come up with another idea. A little something, something to add. Um, you might want to trim tails down a little bit more. You might want, um, Lord knows what you might want to do. Okay, so again, don't pay attention to these tails because I don't know if I'm going to want to drape them downwards or um, spider them out. Okay, I don't know for sure yet. So basically, um, here's where we are. Like I said, if I were to add anything, I may add some of those or I would possibly add a little bit more. I could always add a few more of these in here like some of the roses but I, I, I don't know about that 
Um, so this is where I'm going to take a step back and do a look-see. Okay, guys. Um, but this is kind of our basket. Pretty thick. Pretty thick. And whatnot. But I think it turned out pretty cool. Put the camera back up here. Um, so I can hold it. I think it turned out pretty cool. I really like it. And that makes some stuff. Yeah, I think I really like it. They look pretty cool. All right. So good, guys. That's it. That's a taco basket. So we've done that. Um, I thought about using this, but this is the one I really didn't want to waste. Um, I may, you know, consider putting that, a little bit of that in there. I don't know. But I just kind of like, and I may go back in and add a little bit of yellow. I don't know. Okay, guys. So basically... This is our Tabasco baskets. Okay. Um, whoops. That's not, that's not quite the hook to hang that on. Um, but anyway, guys, if you have any questions, throw them in there. If you watch the replay, throw the questions in there. I'll um, try to go back there and answer them. Oh, thank you, Tracy. Thank you, everybody. Linda. Hey, Linda. Thanks, Deb. Lizzie. Terry. Everybody. I appreciate that. Now I lost all your comments. Um, so I won't see anyone. I went into, I just scrolled up and went out of my life. So I lost all my comments. But anyway, guys, if you have any questions, please check, you know, put them in the comments on the replay or whatnot. And I'll go back and answer them. Um, and I'm going to go sit down finally. Um, so I will see you next week. I might go live Friday. I've got a really cool centerpiece I'm going to do, but that'll be on my business page. Um, so check me out there <laughs> and follow me. If you haven't, follow me there over AC Inspired Reads. Okay, guys? Um, and as always, life and live with a half full cup. When it's all about clouds, let's find the sun. Above all, be kind and spread it like butter, guys. Bye. See you next week.